up guys and welcome to the first episode of Top 5 Thursday. This is a new series I'll be starting um, where I'll be going through my top 5 uh, most best products, uh, top 5 most interesting things. Um, I'll try and keep it related to tech, however I might change it around a bit and do some odd things here and there. But basically yeah, this is a new series called Top 5 Thursday and it will be a weekly series every Thursday of course. So let's get started with today's series or today's episode which is Best External Hard Drives, your top 5 best external hard drives. So first off, um, unfortunately I haven't put these in any particular order because um, in my opinion they're all good. However I will let you know beforehand that I have only chosen Western Digital and Seagate to be the featured products in this um, episode. So let's start off with first the WD My Passport Ultra Portable Drive. Now this is available in four different colours and each colour is differently priced. Now I think this is a negative point from this perspective. However, each drive is available in 500 gigabytes, one terabyte and two terabyte storage options. Uh, two terabyte will give you plenty of space and probably more than you'll need for everyday usage. It's got USB 3.0 connectivity which means faster transfer speeds and it means you don't require it to be connected to a main socket, it is actually powered off a USB port on your laptop or desktop PC or even tablets nowadays. It is backwards compatible with USB 2.0 so if you don't have a modern computer with a USB 3.0 USB port you can use a 2.0 and that is plenty, that's fine. Um, however, you will get slower 2.0 speeds and not 3.0 speeds. It features automatic cloud backup, meaning that all, all your data on the device is secu uh, secured against data loss and you can have password protection on your device and hardware encryption um, means that you can only access the data on your device um, and no one else can, which obviously gives the data more protection. So. You, you put your password on there and only you with that password can enter that device and access the files stored on the device. This product starts around £46, somewhere around £46 for the 500 gigabyte option. However, like I previous, uh, previously said, the price does vary depending on the colour. So you wanted a titanium colour for instance, um, that price would be different if you wanted a black or a blue option uh, there. Uh, the product does come with a carry pouch, so you can easily transport it around uh, in your rucksack or whatever bag you have and rest assured that it will not get damaged because it is in a safety carry pouch. The next product is the Seagate Wireless Plus Portable Hard Drive. This runs off a rechargeable battery, so you don't need to constantly uh, have it connected to the computer or plug it into a main socket. It is charged via USB 3 cable and that is actually provided in the box with you. Uh, when you get it. It's wireless so that obviously means that it can be placed anywhere within your home or anywhere within Wi-Fi range and you will still be able to access it no matter where it's positioned in the house. It's compatible with all versions of Windows um, and Android devices and iOS devices as well so you're not limited to what you can access your files stored on. Um, iOS you can use an app to access your drives. Uh, Windows obviously you just use the file explorer. Um, but yeah, you're not really limited here. It's available in one terabyte storage option only, um, but one terabyte is still a reasonable amount of data for what you would need to use on a daily basis, everyday use. You're probably not likely to need more than one terabyte uh, if you're going out anywhere. This device starts off at around £115, somewhere around £115, which I believe is a little pricey for what it supports. However, it does look to be quite stylish and it does look to be a quality drive and will not, well, we hope it won't let you down. But yeah, it looks to be a quality device, so um, that is the Seagate Wireless Plus portable hard drive. The next drive is the WD MyCloud. Now, I have had the, I have the WD MyCloud myself and I must say I am very impressed with this hard drive. Um, this is a NAS drive. Uh, if you don't know what NAS means, it means Network Attached Storage. And... Um, it can only be accessed over the network, so you can't 
access it via USB port uh, connected to the computer, it has to be accessed over the network only. It does feature a USB 2 and USB 3 port, however this is only for extending the amount of storage on the device and uh, for connecting additional drives if your storage has run out or adding a dr uh, drive as a backup drive to um, back up that hard drive to the new hard drive you connected there. It can be connected via Ethernet or Wi-Fi so of course like I said before Wi-Fi means you can have the device anywhere within the house however this does need to be connected to a main socket so depending on where you have a, an available main socket um, this will again limit where you can position it in the house however with the built-in Wi-Fi feature which mine currently doesn't have because I have the older version of the WD MyCloud um, but yeah I think it's a very good idea to have Wi-Fi built into these drives it does feature password protection and automatic backup meaning that your data will be secured against data loss and you can even create user accounts and then specify which user can access what information on the drive so you can secure off certain parts of the drive to certain users and only let them access the information that they need to access. It's compatible with Mac and Windows obviously because it's a network drive um, which makes it easier to access data and you don't have to format the drive to work with Mac. Uh, this is available in two, three and four terabyte storage options and it starts off around £100 for the two terabyte hard drive. The next one is Seagate Backup Plus and this is available in one through to 8 terabyte storage options uh, which gives you ample storage for your data it's powered by a main socket and connects via USB 3 um, it's compatible with Mac, Windows and mobile devices without the need to format and you can access your, access your files using a downloadable app off the Android and iOS app store it features automatic backup so your data will still be safe in the event of a hard drive failure uh, on your computer and mobile devices it comes in a nice black gloss cover, uh, colour, giving your device a stylish look and quality and powerful storage, of course, which is what you want in an external hard drive. The 1TB option starts off for around £50, so that's reasonably cheap for a large amount of storage. Um, but yep, that is the Seagate Backup Plus Drive. And lastly is the WD My Book. Um, this is similar looking to the WD My Cloud, apart from the My Book is black colour, whereas the My Cloud is white colour. This is available again in two, three, and four terabyte storage options. This one connects via USB 2 and USB 3, so you're not left out if you have an older computer. Um, it also features automatic backup software that allows you to back up your data locally or even to Dropbox, which is an amazing feature. Um, however, you do require a Dropbox account for this feature to work. Uh, this also allows you to back up your Dropbox to the drive, which is a, a nice feature to have. It does require a mains adapter to power the hard drive, as well as the USB to access the data. This is compatible with Mac and Windows from XP, XP and above. Um, like the WD My Cloud, this is also mainly a desktop hard drive. Although, if you needed to, you could transport it around fairly easily, but this is designed to sit on your desktop and be untouched, really. It starts off at around £100 for the 2TB option, um, and I think that's really cheap for this product. Like I said, I bought mine, it was reasonably about £110, somewhere around there, but this is an older version I have, and it doesn't feature the Wi-Fi, which is a good feature to have. So, that's basically it for the first episode of Top 5 Thursday. Uh, if you like this episode, definitely give it a like, it really helps. Um, subscribe for more content. Of course, Twitter, Instagram, all the links are below in the description. And I will see you all in the next week's episode of Top 5 Thursday.